Thank you very much for having me. So we're gonna switch gears and talk about the younger age group. And when we talk about management of pediatric epilepsy, we're, um, it's very important to think about four sequential diagnostic questions before considering any therapeutic decisions. The answers for these questions can help direct management strategy and approaches. And what are those questions? So the questions are, are these events seizures? Because not all recurrent events are epileptic. And once you decide that this may be seizures and they are epilepsy, where on the surface of the brain does the seizure probably originate, whether this is focal or generalized epilepsy? Stopping at epilepsy uh, diagnosis is not enough because based on seizure and other patient-specific symptoms, epilepsy syndrome diagnosis can direct optimal treatment. It can uh, help assist with etiology evaluation and help us give a more accurate prognostic uh, picture for the patient and for the family. So in the evaluation of a child with recurrent paroxysmal events, it's important to have a differential diagnosis of non-epileptic spells because it is crucial, um, you may be preventing unnecessary delay in appropriate treatment for seizure mimickers, and because you can avoid uh, unnecessary use of uh, seizure, anti-seizure medication. And so in the young uh, kids and neonates, you might think about benign neonatal sleep myoclonus, acute life-threatening events, jitteriness is startle, and the appropriate patient, hereditary hyperplexia, paroxysmal tonic upgaze. In the infant, and uh, you might consider Sandifer syndrome, benign myoclonus of infancy, which can happen during awakened sleep in contrast to benign neonatal sleep myoclonus. Infantile mas masturbation or self-gratification behaviors, spastic nutans, opsoclonus, and uh, shuddering attacks, breath-holding spells. And think about other behaviors, motor behaviors, such as uh, stereotypies, still withholding, and not to forget uh, Munchausen syndrome by proxy. In children, they could be daydreaming, misinterpreted as absence seizures, other nighttime events, parasomnias or nightmares, and in uh, adolescence, syncope, psychogenic non-epileptic behavioral events, sleep, uh, narcolepsy, cataplexy, hallucinations, and among uh, the syndromes that may ex uh, expand a broad air age group, the benign paroxysmal vertigo, movement disorders, migraine, and uh, invariance.